Welcome to Playing with Sounds and Letters. Speaking, listening, reading, and spelling. Today's sound stars are P, B, F, O, S, D, E. And we have phonic rules for the J sound with long and short vowels and the K sound with long and short vowels. But just so you know, there are a few words you might not know on this list. We have fledge, a young bird just out of the nest, fleck, a small particle of something such as dandruff, and bleck, an outburst of distaste or to blacken something. Get ready. You will need writing paper, pencil, a crayon, or a marker. Get ready. So go and get what you need you will now. Need writing paper, a pencil, one crayon, or a marker. You will use your writing paper and your pencil in the next activity to give yourself a star or a plus for every time you guess the word right. For this game, you will listen carefully. I will say the sounds in the word and you will guess what the word is. And every time you get one right, you will give yourself a plus. Here is your first word. Number one, p, o, e, j, pledge. Did you get it right? Give yourself a plus. Number two, o, e, j. Ledge. Number three. F. O. E. J. Fledge. Number four. F. O. E. K. Fleck. Number five, b, o, e, k. Black. Number six, b, o, e, s. Bless. Number seven, o, e, Less. Number eight. O. E. D. Lead. Number nine. B. O. E. D. Bled. Number ten. F. O. E. D. Fled. Did you give yourself a plus for everyone you got right? Wonderful. Let's move on. Get ready. We're going to track down the sounds that change between our words. You're going to become a sound detective. You will need writing paper with 10 lines. So if you don't have 10 lines left on the paper you're using, go ahead and pause the video so you could go get what you need. I will be waiting. Now, 
you will not be writing letters. You will be drawing circles and triangles for the sounds you hear. I will say a word and you will say each sound in the word. Just like I did when you were blending them to guess the word. You will draw a circle for every consonant sound you hear and a triangle for every vowel sound you hear. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, let's see how that will look. I will say a word to you, like tick, and you will say each sound in the word and draw your shapes. T, I, K. Then I'll give you the next word, tack, and you'll say the sounds again and draw your shapes. A -k. Now you compare the two words and you decide which sound is different in the second word than it was in the first word. So we think tick, t, i, k, tack, t, a, k. These two are the same, but these two are different. So I color the one that is different. The next word is track. Again, you say the word and you say each sound. T, er, a, k. This time we have four sounds and so we only had three. That means we added a sound. You have to decide where the sound was added. Was it at the beginning or was it in the middle? Maybe it was on the end. And here we have t, a, k, t, er, Ack. There's no er in track or in tack, but there is an er in track. So that is our new sound. The next one we have is rack. Er. Ah. Got a problem here. This first sound here was not er, it was t, 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 er, ack. This was even t up here, but this first sound that says er, that can't be right. Er and try er is here, so I think er should be here. Er, a, k, and when I match them, look at this. T, er, a, k, er, a, k. The only difference here is this sound is missing, so I draw an x to show that the sound is missing. It wasn't a change at all. It was one sound taken away. The next word is rat. Now, er here and er here, this has to match up. Rat, er, a, t. But this sound is still missing and I'm gonna show that this sound is still missing by putting an X. Now, where did it change? We have rack, er, ack, and rat, er, a, t, t, k, k, t, t. That's the difference. I color that one in. And that's how this is done. We have sounds who, that will leave here. We have new sounds coming in. We have sounds that change. And this is how you show each of those kinds of changes. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we see what you did. Here was your first word. Next, we will practice reading the words and reading the words and sentences. But before we begin, there are a few things you will want to know. The J sound is spelled G-E on the end of a word when the vowel is long and when it's short. But after a short vowel, we add the D to make it D-G-E. The D kind of guards that J and the vowel because the E on the end would make the vowel long if we didn't have the D in there. When there is a short vowel and the sound is K, it is spelled with the CK on the end of a word. And when the last sound of the word is s, f, 
or o and the vowel is short, we write two of them, two s's, two f's, or two l's. So let's begin. Pledge. You are correct if you read pledge. Do you notice the short E and the D with the GE on the end and the just sound? P O E J. One sound, three letters. You are correct if you read ledge. Fledge. You are correct if you read fledge. Fleck. You got it right. Black. Bless. Bless. Led. Bled. And fled. Now let's read the sentences. I pledge to stay off of the ledge. Number two. He fled before the lion was led close to him. You may bless the food. The cut on his leg bled less than last time. We can play dodgeball or kickball. Now, if you had a little trouble with these, just pause the video and practice one more time. Let's practice spelling the words next. Listen very carefully. We will be writing the word. Before we begin, make sure you have your paper and pencil ready. Write the numbers 1 to 10 on your paper. Listen carefully to each word as I say it. Repeat the word to yourself. Then, as you write the word, say each sound as you write each letter or series of letters. Are you ready? Let's begin. Your number one word is pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Pledge. Number two, ledge. If you get too close to the ledge, you could fall off of the cliff. Ledge. Number three, fledge. A very young bird is called a fledge. Number four, fleck. There's a fleck of snow 
on my window. Fleck. Number five. Black. When I don't like something I eat, sometimes I say black. That doesn't taste very good. Black. Number six, bless. Sometimes I say bless you when someone sneezes. Bless. Number seven, less. The number two is less than four. Less. Number eight, led. She led the pony to the water to get a drink. Led. Number nine, bled. My finger bled for a long time when I cut it. Bled. And number 10, fled. When it started to rain hard, we fled into the house. Fled. And here are the words that you wrote. Take a minute and check to see if you spelled each one correctly. If you spelled all of them correctly, you have 100%. If you spelled nine of them correctly, you have 90%. Eight of them would be 80%. Give yourself a grade. Next, we practice spelling the words in sentences. So have your paper and pencil ready once again. We will be writing five sentences. Write the sentence that you hear me say. I will give you the words in phrases and give you plenty of time to write the words before the next phrase begin. But if I go too quickly for you, just pause the video, take your time to finish writing, and then restart the video. Listen to each sentence and then write it down. There are five sentences and one will contain a challenge word that follows the rules we've been practicing, but may not be one you've seen before. Here are your sentences. Number one, I pledge to stay off of the ledge. I pledge to stay off of the ledge. Number two, he fled before the lion was led close to him. He fled before the lion was led close to him. Number three, you may bless the food. You may bless the food. Number four, the cut on his leg bled less than last time. Number five, 
the cut on his leg bled less than last time. Number five. We can play dodgeball or kickball. We can play dodgeball or kickball. Here are your sentences. Check each of your sentences against the words here. And you can see that I've added up all the words that you wrote. And I've even given you a score. So if you spelled 37 of them correctly, you had 90 percent. 34 was 85 percent. You can give yourself a grade. Great job. You finished your lesson. I hope you come back and play Sound Stars with me another day soon. Have a great day.